Hello, Christian Lobano, producing artistic director of the Sierra Madre Playhouse with our behind the scenes number seven. And this time I'm coming to you from the city of Chino. Now, why would I come out this far to do one of our behind the scenes? Well, the answer to that is behind this door. Come with me. If you take a look at that man over there, I'm about to introduce you. That's Orlando de la Paz. Many of you have seen his work already on our stages. He's probably the best scenic artist in town. And if you see in the background, there are some pieces of our set for your good man, Charlie Brown. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. Come on, let's go meet him. So it's my great pleasure to introduce a dear friend, Orlando, who has worked on many of our shows, and this gives you a sense of what he plays with all day. Um, Orlando, I would love for you to tell the audience um, a, little, a, a little bit about the work you're doing and maybe the direction that Nick Santiago gave you um, on the work. And then we'll actually look at some of the pieces. Well, as you can see, we're working with these this color scheme, which is very comic book-like. Yep, very bright colors. Yeah, very bright colors, and, and, uh, and it translates well into the Carl Schultz world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Orlando, can you d just describe for the audience a little bit about what a scenic painter does? Um, you know, that it, it's more than just taking a, a paintbrush and a yeah. can of paint from Home Depot. Yeah, well, um, first of all, everything has to come from the designer, from actually the director to the designer. And uh, then we translate whatever is on paper into something three dimensional like this. So this will come from the builder. And then I go ahead and paint whatever is on what they call an elevation with all the color schemes and, and things like that. And translate here and then we also add texture or uh, full wood if we have to, or marble, or you know, all, all of the other tricks of the trade that uh, is demanded of a scene. So it's not just painting flat stuff, it's also knowing how to render um, clouds, or leaves, or, or uh, wood, or stone. Now, I, what I know about you is that you're really a, an artist, and that your work, and as you've done on our stage, that beautiful, scenery you did for Bieber for Hatchie, that really great jazz, jazz era art. But this is a very different style, yeah. which the audience is about to see. It's very comic book, it's very two-dimensional, it's very flat. Um, so why don't we take a look at some of the pieces? Now, Orlando, I know that this is the ground row yeah. that will be in front of our stage to hide the cement at the base. Can you talk a little bit about what we're looking at? Um, I believe these are going to be like uh, the grass area or bushes in front. Mm -hmm. um, these are going to be outlined in black, just like a cartoon. Right. And also the ground row itself is going to be outlined in black with both, both hands uh, up and down. Right, right. that will side. give us the, the, the panel. Yeah, that's right. right. We're it's like a Sunday do. comic. Exactly. The, the audience has heard that from us a lot, that we're trying to recreate the Sunday comics. Well, this is going to be terrific. I can't wait to see it finished. Let's move on to something else. So Orlando, clearly this is one of our bushes, yeah. right? And that the audience can see how, how flat and you know two-dimensional it is. Yeah. Can you tell me what more you have to do? I just have to do the outlines and, and some little details of leaves to the side. And just give that Charles Schultz look. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. You know, it's very, it's very flat, unified color, and then it's his little squiggles that make it look yeah, like a peanuts cartoon. That's great. Well, I think we all know what this is. <laughs> if anybody's a fan of the peanuts comic strip, we know that we're looking at Schroeder's, Schroeder's piano. piano. Yeah. Um, what, what's interesting, and I just uh, asked Orlando about it, is, you know, I've never seen a purple piano before, uh, except maybe with Liberace, right? 
But can you explain to us why it really needs to be not black? Well, I think it needs to also one that needs to stand out. And right. Then, you know, when you do the outlines and all that, that would make it really cartoony. And two, it's it's a toy piano. It's, it's a toy like piano. a children's toy piano. Right, 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 right. Except he plays classical music on it. Right. <laughs> and uh, what you're not seeing here, we're going to say was a surprise. There was one thing I've asked for from the very beginning. And you'll have to come see the show to see what that is. It's going to be a surprise. And then, of course, there'll be keys, right? Yeah. 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 So, Schroeder's piano. And it will not be on the ground. It will be raised up. And there are legs. And it, there'll be a platform so we can roll in and out. No Valentine's card. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Charlie Brown's, um, or the Brown family's mailbox. And uh, we will have... Brown here, and then there'll be, a, a, of course, a little red flag, which never goes up because Charlie Brown never gets any mail. So you can see that everything is outsized. You know, this is really big, even for me. Um, but that'll help all of the actors look just a little smaller. I love it. And I, I don't know if, if our trusty camera woman can see this, but um, Orlando's done this really terrific wood grain effect on the post. Um, and so it too will get outlined in black. Um, it's just looking great, Orlando. It's just so much fun. I shared all of these photos with the cast already. Um, so they're excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited. Now I'm about to show you my very favorite thing. It's not quite finished yet, but this is the back of Charlie Brown's, or not actually Charlie Brown's, it's actually the Van Pelt's, Lucy and Linus's family television. So uh, there's still more work to do. There will be um, a screen and some knobs on the front, and it gets rabbit ears. Um, some of you may have to explain to the younger uh, kids in the <laughs> audience what rabbit ears are. Uh, and even the knobs on a television. Uh, so again, that, that speaks to the nostalgia that we're aiming for, that Nick talked about when we did our uh, set behind the scene. So we're really setting it in the early 60s, you know, the, the time of the real heyday of peanuts, at least in, in my mind. I love this. So, Orlando, I am so excited and so grateful for all the work you're doing on this wow. show. And uh, it's just going to be a blast. Thank you. Thank you. So, I hope you found this as exciting as I did. And I hope that you are all planning to come see your good man, Charlie Brown, when we preview on July 30th and then open on July 31st. And remember that we run through August 29th. Circles are selling briskly, and I'm thrilled about that. So, hope to see you soon, and I hope you're building your wire coat hanger sculptures. Till next time. <laughs>